Okay, dear students, let us see this question. The diagram shows the magnetic field surrounding two current carrying metal wires that is P and Q. The wires are parallel to each other and at right angles to the plane of the page. So these two wires are passing through these two holes like P and Q and they are entering into the laptop. Okay, so we don't know the current is coming out of the laptop or is the current going into the laptop uh, towards the laptop screen. That is what we need to find. Now in this question, what is the direction of the electron flow? Okay in P and the direction of electron flow in Q. So that will be opposite to the direction of the flow of the current. So this is the second part of the problem. This is the first part of the problem. So the first part is we need to find the direction of the current. L electron we will see later. Now in this question, what we use is, um, this is uh, right hand, well, as we call it, screw rule. <laughs> there are students, those who have laughed on this, I don't know why, anyways. In India, we call it right hand screw rule. So this is how the screw move. Okay. I don't know what you call this thing in your country. So right hand screw rule. This is the way the screw, the screws are screwed, you know. Okay, fine. So what happens here is, try to concentrate now. This thumb will be pointing towards the direction of the current, the conventional current. That is the direction of the positive charge inside the wire. So this is the direction of the current. And it could be anything like this, like this. It, it could be towards you. It could be towards me. It could be right, left or whatever. Fine. So this is how we can keep on moving the wire as per our question. And along with my thumb, what is moving? Moving is my finger. So the fingers, they are the direction of the magnetic field. So as you are moving your thumb, with respect to the direction of the wire, the direction of the current, the direction of the magnetic field is also variable. So here at P, we will keep our hand like this and we see that the magnetic field is moving like this into the uh, anti-clockwise, counterclockwise direction. So thumb is pointing towards me. Thumb is pointing towards me. So you can see the thumb is pointing towards me. But when I talk about Q and I curl my finger according to the magnetic field, so it will be like this and my thumb is pointing towards you. So for Q, my, the direction of the current is into the board and for P, the direction of the current is towards me. So I can say that this, the current will be coming out of the board. This is the symbol for the out of the board and the current here is into the board. So now they are asking you the direction of the flow of electrons. Now that is very, very important. This becomes the second part of the question. So the flow of electron is always in the opposite direction. So they are talking about the electronic current, but we have found the direction of the conventional current. So our answer will be opposite to what I have found. So this is coming out. So electrons are going into P, into the page. And for Q, because the conventional current, that is the direction of the positive charge is into the plane. So electron is coming out of the page. So our answer is B. I think with this much, you would be able to understand what I have taught. In magnetism, I tell you, uh, the directions are very, very important. And that is the only important thing I will say. But in online interaction, it becomes very difficult to teach the directions. I'm trying my best. If you're still not able to understand something, please do let me know in the comment section. Let us check the answer in the mark scheme. And yes, the answer is B. So with this, dear students, all the best. Bye.